the orbit as you know which is part of the skull is actually a pear shaped cavity now this is made up of seven bones to begin with the contributors in the roof sorry the floor of the orbit the floor of the orbit is formed by the maxilla it is the orbital plate of maxilla contributors to this other bones are zygomatic bone and on the inner side we have palatine bone coming to the lateral wall zygomatic again contributes to the lateral wall and this part is actually where the vitnals tubercle is located along with the zygomatic bone there is a contribution from the greater wing of sphenoid bone coming to the roof it is contributed by the frontal bone it's called as the orbital plate along with that there is contribution also from the lesser wing lesser wing of sphenoid bone coming to the medial wall the medial wall has contributions from so many bones of which one is the maxilla along with that towards the posterior end we have the lacrimal bone we have the ethmoid bone and we also have the sphenoid bone so as i said in the beginning about the number 7 let's check it out maxilla zygomatic sphenoid frontal bone ethmoid bone the lacrimal bone and palatine bone 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 7 now about the orbit let's do one thing let's cut it out and view it from the top as i said it has a pear shape when you look from top so here you know the medial wall the lateral wall at the area where the orbit is ending posteriorly we have an important fissure in the name of superior or vital fissure it is actually a space formed between the greater wing and the lesser wing of sphenoid so before i end the session this segment 
I have so a question to you guys from here is this the superior orbital fissure is in the lesser wing of the sphenoid is it true or false the Wittnall's tubercle is found on the zygomatic bone true or false when all of you answer this question we will go into the next segment now let's go into certain other relationships of the orbit this is an important picture and uh, these are the associated uh, structures anatomical structures related to the orbit we have this as the superior now this is the superior structures superior relationships this is the inferior so that is the simplest superiorly we know it is the frontal sinus that comes on the top inferiorly you know it is the maxillary sinus inferiorly we also have the nasolacrimal ducts inferior meatus now this side is the medial wall that is this here we have the anterior and posterior ethmoidal foramina that is this and this in the posterior part that is the optic canal that goes into the middle cranial fossa there is also the apex of the orbit which is called as the superior orbital fissure which is the apex of the orbit which is formed between the greater and the lesser wing of sphenoid bone so we have superior orbital fissure at the posterior part now the lateral area is not having any significant relationship to any anatomical structure inferior i forgot to mention the inferior orbital fissure and the pterygo palatine fossa that is on the inferior part so it is the nasolacrimal duct that it is the nasolacrimal duct that uh, the inf it is the inferior wall opening that connects the orbit to the nose or it is connecting it is the naso it is connecting the nasolacrimal duct to the inferior meatus through the inferior wall of the orbit and when you have a fracture a fracture involving the floor of the orbit all the contents from the orbit can herniate into the maxillary sinus sinus so or uh, fracture or blow out fracture of the floor of the orbit is very important clinically and it's an emergency to deal with another important thing is the medial wall is related to the ethmoid sinus through a very thin lamina papyrusia
सो इफ देर इज सम म्यूकोसिल एसोसिएटेड विद द एथमोइड साइनस इट हर्नीट्स थ्रू दिस और इट कैन पेन इट ब्रेकअप द लमाइना प्रब्री से एंड कम इन टू द ऑर्बिट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द ग्लोब दैट इज लोकेटेड विद इन द ऑर्बिट गोस इन फ्रंट बिकॉज द म्यूकोसिल इज बिहाइंड द आई बॉल इज पुस्ड फॉरवर्ड एंड वी कैन गेट वॉट इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोप्टोसिस ऑफ द आई विच इज प्रोट्रूशन ऑफ द आई बॉल एंटीरियरली फ्रॉम द ऑर्बिट नाउ if this session is ending with a question and you have to get me the excuse me yeah i would like to end this session by asking a question related to this that is the orbit is connected to the middle meatus via the nasolacrimal duct 